We've gone over just about everything there is to go over in Desktop Server now. And in this video, I'd like to go over a few things that it is not. Desktop Server uses XAMP. XAMP provides you with a generic local web server. And you can do anything with it. You could run Drupal or Joomla on it. You can run custom code. You can run anything. It's exactly like any other web server. Desktop Server adds on top of that a WordPress manager so that you can easily install, uninstall, deploy, and remove WordPress sites. You may have also heard of something called Varying Vagrant Vagrants. Vagrant is a piece of software that allows you to configure virtual machines so you can have a fake computer right on your computer. And then Varying Vagrant Vagrants also helps manage WordPress installs within that. It's extraordinarily powerful. I use it for my work. But it is very complex, and probably not what the average web developer needs. VVV is wonderful for replicating an existing server configuration, right down to what web server is being run, what database is being run, etc. If you need that, then you should check out VVV. But if you're just building a theme, or a plugin, or even just a plain website, all you really need is desktop server. There are a couple limitations that I'd like to point out. I mentioned this earlier, but desktop server, when deploying, cannot do just part of a website. For example, if you are using it to build a plugin, you can't simply deploy your plugin. You can only deploy the entire website. As long as you know this, it's not really a problem. You probably should be using Git or Subversion to manage your plugin anyway. But just keep in mind that when you go to deploy a site with Desktop Server, it's the entire site, not just the part you were working on. All things considered, I'm very impressed with Desktop Server. I like it a lot, and I highly recommend its use.